But this land is ours, and we'll see it wiped clean of the scourge that has sullied our hopes. Good morning, afternoon, and or evening. This is Derek, Professor Silly Gaming, and we are continuing to play through Skyrim Anniversary Edition in 2024. EV Era Vulgaris. And we're playing as the Dragonborn, doing every single quest that comes our way in the order that we receive them, whether they be the ones we've done a billion times because we played this game a billion times, or if they're brand new because Anniversary Edition has a bunch of creation content stuff that's been added. This time, we are going to start with what I believe is one of those creation content mini quests. And for that, we need to go up to Dragon's Bridge. We are currently in our main home. We got one of the daughters, another daughter back there. Uh, I don't, I've never played a game where I've had uh, had children in the game. Uh, the bonus that they give uh, is not bad, ah. and they're cute. Yeah, hi. Hmm. Nothing. Uh, go do your chores. But I don't want to. Runa. Yes, Pa. And then I kick her in the butt. Get to it. All right. <laughs> We've got, as always, Jizargo, our trusty sidekick. And we're going to be heading, I said, like I said, up to Dragon's Bridge. Uh, the fastest way to do that is probably... Look at that. It's a cold rain. Oh, and it's starting to snow. It's Winter is almost done. We are almost to springtime. And I don't know if I've really ever, like, played Skyrim lo long enough to get to the different seasons, per se. Uh, typically, I play as a theme, so I, I tend to just rush through the storylines and the quests, and uh, then I want to create a new character. So this whole idea of like doing every single quest, this is really brand new for me. I am really enjoying doing it this way. And I very much, after doing so many different theme playthroughs of all, all the different Bethesda games, I'm very tempted to go through and do this with the other Bethesda games. I did one time play through Oblivion, doing every single, every single like side quest and whatnot. But I don't think I did all the miscellaneous stuff, even that that playthrough. That was way before I had a channel. Need a I can take you to any of the. Where do you want to go? All right, we're going to Solitude. Climb and back, and we'll be off. So obviously Fallout 4 would be high on my list. Oblivion is very high on my list. It's been a very long time since I played Oblivion. And I only just recently found out that they've been continuously updating the graphics behind the scenes. So it would probably look entirely different than I remember. I'd have to get used to the different uh, mechanics as far as leveling up and all that. That wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. All right, that should bring my horse a-running. There he comes. Cool, let's get Thundering Hooves ready to go. And that way we can ride. <clears throat> so we are looking for a dead body. That is what we're starting off with. I think during my Leliana playthrough, I stumbled upon this very randomly not really knowing what it, what it was. This time I'm purposefully searching it out. We've only legendaried one skill so far, and that's enchanting. So we're getting close to Doing some more legendary stuff. Alright, the river flows that way. So if a body did fall off of here, it would be on this side of the bridge. Presumably. <clears throat> that said. Oh, we got a link. We got a we got a We got a thing. Let's head toward that marker. Ooh, it is cold. I should probably put on my helmet. 
and uh, get long stride back up. It's okay if I get uh, quite high above where I need to be because I've got shouts. Uh, most especially, become ethereal. Fight! Which I can use to get down very quickly. And of course, I jump into water. I'll be fine there as well. Alright, Rooks, he's right over there. Alright, well, we have another shout for this sort of situation. And that is Whirlwind Sprint. Aim high and. What? No! There's a bear close by. Hi there, body. Guards note on Adelphius. Confront Adelphius at the inn. All right. I'm beginning to suspect Adelphius is not who he claims to be. He seems rather old for a new recruit, but it wasn't until he started asking about our bandit informant that I began to suspect something was amiss. Still, I would have forgiven this as natural curiosity had he not asked to meet him. So... I checked with the list of the garrison, and no one by the name of Adelphius is on it. I don't know who he is, but he's not a member of the guard. He's stationed at Dragon Bridge at the moment. When my shift is over, I'm going to confront him about it. <laughs> well, that didn't seem to go well for you. Is that different than the normal Solitude Guard's armor? Maybe not. It looks, it looks different, like a different color. I don't know. All right, and I'll take your gold. I'll take the note. Why not? All right, we don't have fast travel. We have long stride. No, Mr. Bear. I'm a friend of bears. Oh, we're starting to move slower. Because it's getting colder. Fortunately, we'll be going straight into the inn, and it's going to be warm in there, and it'll be fine. <clears throat> Burr. I mean, it is... 18th of Sun's Dawn, which is basically like February, so... <laughs> I think. Get up. Kill him. Eh. Silly bears. Jazargo will take care of it. Alright, what do we got over here? We got another note. Adelphius's confession. Oh no. <clears throat> I should have made sure that body sunk to the bottom of the river, but in my old age, I've gotten sloppy. I guess I should come clean. My real name is Pedelius. No, Pilatius. I'm a bandit. At least I used to be. Meet me at the Dragon's Bridge. We can settle it there. Oh, I'll take the note. It's not worth anything, but... All right. My money's on the big one. Oh, let's just wait an hour. Be all warm, warm and cozy and toasty. <laughs> How did that not warm me up? I'm standing right by a fire. There, let's do that again. There we go. All right. <clears throat> what, the bear still? Oh, there you are. Oh, okay. Hi. Um, you're gonna shoot arrows, huh? Yeah. 
Okay, actually, let's uh, get our paralysis rune ready. Uh huh. And then we'll get our sword out. Because I don't fight there. I don't know if you noticed. Oh, hi, bear. Yeah, it does. All right. And one hand it goes to 92. Look at that. Steel soldier stuff. And a steel sword of embers, which isn't really that valuable. Uh, it's worth a fair amount. I'll just drink that. And that is that. So obviously that's not all we're going to do. And then... Oh, did I miss the water? I might have missed the water. I, there's no way I can pick this up, huh? Uh, no. Alright, it just stays there. So obviously, per the title of the episode, uh, you knew, or you already knew that wasn't all we were going to do. Uh, I'm going to give the w armor what to you. What can I do for you, friend? <clears throat> I will yeah, show you, yeah, you some will. of your burden. Yeah, you will. We have all these rings to sell. There it is. Magic resistance by 15. Stamina regenerates. Block more with your shield. Good enchantments. I'll give it that. Oh, you're putting that on. Really? Get, really? I don't know if I want you to be wearing that. Let me take a look at it. And well, fire resistance. Give me back the sh Give me back. Give me back. This is so much better for you because it increases your 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 lightning spells by twenty five percent. Yes, you're still vulnerable to fire, but Gajit is ready for any. Yeah, you are. Makers. Okay, so <laughs> time to turn on profit. That's that's what this one is called. Uh, so we need to ask carriage drivers, innkeepers, etc. We need to locate a moth priest. We're right here, so let's start with the innkeeper here. Uh, let's just long stride our way up there. I feel like I put. I should keep that. I mean, well, it's not unique named, you but it's armor that I might want to put. Uh, put on a mannequin somewhere. Fate is the name. I keep. All right, you in. do not have any info for me. Here, take a but look. you got a bounty. Ooh, Somebody the bandit leader. Came by and left this bounty I'm looking forward to bandit leaders now because we can we can werewolf them. We'll kill all the bandits outside. We'll eat all their hearts and then we'll go in and maul the leader. And it'll be awesome. And I'll get to say nom 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 a bunch of times, which is my favorite thing about being a werewolf. Alright, we'll head up to Solitude, because there's a carriage up there. There you are. There you are. And away we go. I don't remember which carriage driver I need to talk to, but... Uh, Pretty sure that's the way we find them. And it actually should be... Should be close to here. I think it's just south of the Dragon Bridge is where we need to go. To locate them. So this is this is likely the one we need to talk to. It's going to be weird doing Dawn Guard stuff without Serana. Obviously there's parts that we'll have to use. That we'll have to have her with us. That'll be challenging because she's uh, she's not going to be as high of a level compared to me as she normally would be because I'm already past level 50. My carriage is the safest yes. way to travel. Yes, I've been meaning to ask this for a while, and I just wasn't because, well, the order of the order in which I've received quests. It's one of them imperial yeah. scholars, right? Old man yeah. in gray robe. Yeah. Might be that I have. I got enough troubles on Come my on, mind man. just trying to. Now that I think on it, I did see your priest. 
They tried to hire me for a trip yeah. to Dragonbridge, <laughs> but I told them that ain't one of right. my stops. That completes all of that. So we got to ask people in Dragonbridge. Fair enough. Fair enough. <clears throat> Yeah, this part we can do without... Sorry. Without Serana. But when we actually... I'm not sure which parts need Serana which parts don't. <clears throat> Honestly, I just have always had Serana with me throughout the Dawn, the Dawn Guard stuff. Um, okay. Let's start asking folks. Starting with you. Like you've seen your share of I have. Uh huh. Moth priest. Try asking okay. one of the guards. Hey, you guard. You hear the news? Was that major? No, they the didn't. Hole? Guess it was. It was the old Mary Dominion. Ah, oh, so that was a moth uh -huh. priest then. He rode through town cool. not long ago with an escort Thank of you. soldiers. They didn't stop; just headed south across the track. It was the it was it was the old Mary Dominion that blew up Winterhold, not the mages. Maybe you ought to rethink your alliances there, Solitude. Are we gonna be attacked by vampires when we get down here? I feel like we might. <clears throat> A little quick save won't hurt. Yeah, we'll be, we're just, I just want to be ready. Well, they had an Elder Scroll book. Oh, yep, you're a vampire, right? All right, what does your note say? I have new orders for you. Prepare an ambush just south of the Dragon Bridge. Take the Moth Priest to Four Bears Holdout for safety being until I can break his will. Signed, Marcus. All right, we can leave that on her. But we'll take the amethyst and the gold, and we'll take all the vampire dust. And you're a female vampire, so we'll leave your armor on because we're we're we have respect. We're respectful, even of vampires. Okay. So we need to go over there, huh? Right? Yeah, just over there. Jump, jump, there we go. Jump. Dragonborn makes you want to jump, jump. Shouting Thune makes you want to jump, jump. Oh, there's blood. Okay, if we're fighting vampires, you know what that means. That means... We're putting on our Dragon Priest mask. Heaven the Rock. No, I don't have to do that. I'm a werewolf. I can't catch vampirism. I'm immune. Right? Pretty sure. Great Cal it is. Is that true? I feel like that's true. Let's look. Active effects. Um... Yeah, yeah, we're a werewolf, so we can't catch, we cannot catch the vampire disease. Um, I should put Havnarek away. Uh, since we're no longer using it. We need to decide which of the, which of my houses I want to put the Dragon Priest masks in. I don't feel like it's, I don't feel like you put it where the, where the children are. They're trophies, essentially, so probably uh, Henderheim or whatever it's called. All right, let's get our normal stuff ready. 
I remember this place. Okay, yeah. I mean, how can you not? They're not immune to poisons, though. And I'm carrying a lot of extra stuff, so let's do a magic of poison. Oh, he's just a thrall. That might have been a bit of a waste. Nice dodge. Where are you going? Ah, crap. Trying to anticipate where he's going to go. How was that a miss? Come on now. There we go. Who else we got? I like that they they glow. I can just see them. That was a miss. That's bullshit right there. All right, let's get closer. Oh, hello. You don't show up. I don't have a lot of arrows, to be fair. So this is not what we're doing long term. He didn't. He didn't. He just charged, but okay. Remember, Leliana had to do this a couple of times. She wasn't doing wonder... She was not doing great. But also, she wasn't level 50 something when she did it. That is a big advantage that Bjorn has. I'd have to even look to see what level her or Victor Von Doom got to. Can I shoot through there? I don't have enough arrows to r risk that. I think at this point we uh, switch to our... our better skills. Surprise! Ooh, you're tough! Not that tough, though. Oh, hello. You're not nearly as tough. Alright, who else we got? Come on down over here. Okay, let's heal. Because that lightning was potent. Why don't I have Magicka? Okay, that helps. Kind of like my shout to come back. Hi there, Malchus. Were you an orc vampire? It looks like you were. Well, I'll take that and that. And yeah, we'll take that. Were you were you an orc? Yeah, you were. Okay. You can keep your armor and your your vampire dignity. All right, this needs to go up there. Let's get some light. There we go. Okay, we're gonna have to fight this moth priest once we get him out. Because he'll be under the control still of them. 
Oops, actually, let's just switch and then... No? No? Okay, that's fair. Don't go over the edge. He's not going over the edge. It's fine. Where's my sword? Oh, that's a shield. Okay. There we go. We good? Trying to take your health down further. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That... That wasn't me. I know, I know. Fighting. It's okay. I could see through my eyes, but I could... I'm gonna heal myself while we're doing this. Not control my actions. Thank you for breaking that foul vampire... You're welcome. Me. You arrived just in time. I think those vampires were getting hungry. I'm quite all right, thanks to yeah. you. Dexian Hi, Dexian. Is my name. I'm a moth priest of the That's White a cool name. Tower. These vampires claim they had some purpose in store for me, but they didn't I say bet what. it involved. I bet Probably it involved an Elder Scroll. Me, the fools. Um, but we need you for the same purpose. You do. All right then. Enough. Kinky news. stuff. Yeah, Elder Scroll. You have an Elder yeah. Scroll. Remarkable. Yeah. If my knowledge of history serves me, I recall that the Dawn Guard was an ancient order of yeah. vampire hunters. I will be happy to assist you with cool. your Elder Scroll. Just tell me where I well, need it's, to go. Uh, you will find Dawn Guard at Fort Dawn Guard, um, which probably doesn't tell you much. Near Stendard's Beacon. Cool. Very well. I'll hurry on my way there before more of those vampires. That sounds like a good idea. Uh, I just realized I'm still wearing the gray cowl of, of Nocturnal. Um, we could probably take that back off now. There's no living things in here anymore, so... Past all the magic rings that we need to sell. And back to the alchemist to it. And let's get some light again. Alright, there's a chest right there. Dead Imperial soldier with uh, nothing but his Imperial armor. Ooh. Yeah, we'll take that. I'll take that. Yeah, we'll take. Well, we'll take all of it. What else y'all got up in here? In your little vampire hideout? Anything up here besides coffins? What about up here? You got anything besides coffins up here? Nope, not really. All right. Well, we can head back down. A couple other vampire bodies for us to loot. Or at least, uh, should be one. You've got some gold. Where'd that vampire go? There she is. She is not. She is not as pretty. Her nose has gone all... all bat-like. And there would be a body up there. Which get to this way. Unless he fell off. He did fall off. He's right there. Oh, you were another Khajiit. I'm sorry. I'm going to take my arrows, though. He was a bad kitty. Not like Jazargo. Jazargo's an awesome kitty. Race you there. Thank the divine Right? Because we are going there, right? Prophet? Yeah. Report our success to Isran. So, we have to uh, get ourselves down to Riften. And if we're going to Riften, we might as well ride our horse. Because <laughs> the armor I just got. Ooh, nighttime. Um, 844, that's, that's less than ideal. 
So Hendraheim is due south. I'm going to move that right there. Uh, actually, if we can make it to my farm. Let's zoom in so I can get that closer. We can sleep at the farm. The vampires that show up, what level are we again? 56. The vampires that show up now are stupid tough. And because we're playing Anniversary Edition, uh, we also have roving hordes of zombies. So... Thundering Hooves, Candlelight... There you are. Cool. Let's head to the farm and get inside where we'll be safe. I haven't taken on zombies in a bit. Oh, that looks like a long drop. Let's turn around and take a different way. This doesn't look better. Bear. Oh gosh, I'm so sorry, Frost. Let's just find a safe way down. This looks better. This looks better. That's... that's acceptable. To the road. Okay, great. And then we can head south on the road. Much better. I haven't tried to t fight zombies for many, many, many levels. And I might be able to handle it now, especially with the paralyze and the and the slow time. But I don't know that that's true. The vampires we can definitely handle. Assuming that Jazar goes there and Frost is there, I've got you know both of them helping. By myself, it get it can get a little dicey. There's a bridge. I should probably take the bridge. Oh gosh. Ah, stop shooting my horse. And me. But mostly the horse. I cleared that place out a while ago. It's a little sad that they're back. But whatever. Okay, this will go up. This is the road that goes through Rorkstead, yeah? Ah, we can't, got close to something. Just keep going straight. Oh no! Oh no! Okay, we need to we need to see where we are because oh, someone's shooting at us. How? Stop it! Stop it! I don't want to fight people in the dark. It's tough to fight people in the dark. Stop hitting my horse. Yeah, we're going to go through Rorik instead. That's perfect. Can't they just fight in the daytime like normal people? Bandits doing bandit things at night. How dare they? Alright, there's the farm. Oh, the elk had Ill, Ill intent and therefore got poisoned. That'll happen. Okay, let's just put Frost in here. We're gonna run off. Frost is very often battle hungry and we'll just like run off after enemies. I think we're good. All right, well, we'll get some sleep. Really not much for us to drop off here. Maybe the axe. Hey! Oh, that axe is big and that one's small. We can move stuff around. Hey, buddy. I think I you still have an ancient Nordic axe. Can what I have can it? What can I do for you, friend? I will shoulder some of your burden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was no, I'm good. Else? Thank you. 
Uh, we're going to put that. Not the ancient Nordic pickaxe. The Nordic war axe. That's going to go right here. Uh-huh. Oh, that's not so bad. A big axe and a little axe? If I get another little axe, I'll move the big axe down to the, the room down here where we have the Crusader's stuff because we've got the Crusader armor and we got the Crusader's weapons and then, like, yeah, the big axes could go right there. Um, does this not have the shield? It doesn't. That doesn't have the other shield either? No. Probably should get the shields over here. Anyway, let's get some sleep. Get good eight hours. Six twenty four is good. We are hungry. That is not surprising. We've got horker loafs, though. I feel like just maybe it's just because it rhymes, but I feel like horker, even though it's based on like walrus tastes like like pig. I don't know if it's because horker and porker, but yeah, this is the farm. Farm's doing pretty good. Lydia's in charge of the farm. Hi, Lydia. What do you need, my thing? None. None. Profits? Very oh my god, 31,000? I need to come by here more often. Take you're care of you're awesome. Lydia's awesome. How much money have you made me? None. Although he watches my back, so that's probably better. There's no there's no price you can put on Jazargo's companionship. 31,000. Good lord. Where's my horse? There you are. <laughs> Silly horse. Uh, we want thundering hooves. All right, and Hendrheim. Hendrheim, Hendrheim is right there. So move that there, and we'll just head that way. I prefer not to have to drop and then recall Frost over to me, so we'll try to do this without unnecessary elevation shifts. When in doubt, look for the low point in your rough direction on the horizon and aim that way. And that's usually where you'll find a pass. No. Bad kitty. And we have a road. This is not the way we want to go, I don't think. This is, uh, in fact, the exact wrong way. Yep, we're going to go this way. Except there on the right. Oh, I'm sorry, Frost. Get him, Jazargo. Show that four-legged cat what for. I mean, I'd rather that I just teach Jazargo Kind's peace and we just not kill wild animals. But it is what it is. Okay. This is where we're putting all the Nordic armor. And we have all of our special weapons that don't have specific spaces down here. And this is our trophy room. So, we have defeated... That's, that wasn't from defeating the head of the Forsworn, although we did eventually go back and get him anyway. And that was the... Uh, champion of the Imperials. And so, hey, we have another set of a trophy. How we have another I set of trophy it? armor. I will shoulder some of your burden. So I'm going to need this stuff. Thank you. Was there anything And that else? stuff's all going on to here. 
as a random person that we bested in one-on-one -on -one combat, even though Jazargo was helping. I didn't need Jazargo's help, let's face it. I had that fight well in hand. But, you know, I don't mind either. Uh, so give, 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 give. There we go. It, it seems less impressive um, overall than the, than uh, especially this champion armor right here. And maybe I should order it by value. So if I look at this, let's see, 11, 17, uh, 23, 2600. And way more. And then this, frankly, is worth a lot less. Uh, we'll just keep it in the order that we're doing them right now. It tells, better, it tells a better story that way. And let's see here. Henverok. There we go. I consider that to be a trophy as well. This is where our trophies are going. The main home is all of my personal gear. This is the stuff that we've won through combat or through trials and tribulations. Cool. We're not putting the claws over here though. The claws stay, stay at our other home. So this, these shells will just remain empty. And then these are still stuck. Those are still stuck. That's unfortunate. And then we've got those two weapons from from Solstheim. And then this is where the Dawn Guard stuff will go. We didn't get the Rufal Axe because we got the Mask of Clavicus Vile. Uh, we haven't gotten Dragon Bane yet. We do have the ebony blade, but we when we shift to doing using two-handed weapons, that I think that's going to be my weapon. So cool. Uh, is there anything else we want to drop off here while we are here? We do have an ebony great sword of storms. Was I putting ebony swords over here? I was. Oh, we have Goldbrand right there. Well, let's take Goldbrand. Put the Ebony Sword there. There wasn't enough racks. Wait a minute. That one's not working? Was there a weapon up there at some point that's now missing? I feel like there might have been a weapon up there, and now there isn't. What weapon is that? That's weird. Can I put gold brand in here? Oh, I didn't drop it. That's why. Okay. And then we pick it up. And then we try to maneuver it into the case. Good enough. Sure, why not? All right, that's all we're gonna do here. We need to continue heading east. Uh, which at this point basically means going to Whiterun because we can take Whiterun carriage to Riften. And Whiterun is not that far of a ride from here, all things considered. Get down to the road. Go through this pass. I would call this a pass. You're riding up and then you're riding down. <laughs> and since we're not going home, but we're going to White Run proper, uh, we actually might want to go into White Run. We have all of those enchanted weapons to sell, or enchanted jewelry to sell. So going into town makes some amount of sense. Leave us alone, Kitty. We're your friend. 
Friend, not food. Friend, not food. They don't understand that phrase, unfortunately. Unless I get out and shout, shout at them. And even then, the the Daedric male can, or the Ebony male can, undo Kind's piece pretty quickly. If they take any damage at all, the the calming effect of Kind's piece just goes away, and then they're back into attacking, and you don't have a shot anymore at that point. Can't slow time. Can't become ethereal. And then you're just in it. But I won't be wearing this plate forever. We'll we'll uh, we'll switch to Daedric armor when my smithing hits 90. I'm gonna need some Daedric Daedric hearts for that, of course. But I should be able to get that. Certainly rich enough to buy Daedric hearts wherever I find them. An apothecary should be carrying that sort of stuff because of my level. At that point, I'm going to want to have my enchanting at 100 so I can fully enchant that Daedric armor to be as good as possible. Because that, frankly, will probably be my main heavy armor for the rest of the game. From what I understand. I don't typically wear Daedric armor as a character because it just it looks so evil. I know it looks badass, but it also looks evil. Dragon plate's not as good. It's heavier, I guess. Um, so, I don't know. We'll see. I do not need to make that decision right now. All right, let's long stride our way. Pretty sure that the court mage will buy enchanted jewelry, so let's go up there first. Oh, so good. So good to be able to speed through the city. You know, I've got a potion of haggling. Come to Dragon's Reach. So you wish to master the yeah. arcade. All right, first of all. Um, I've got these that are not worth that much. And then I got this. Oh, okay, we're already we're already tapped. So let's get Let's just buy all of his soul gems. And then start going through the apparel again. Charmed necklace. And then... All of the rings that are enchanted. And the circlets that are enchanted before he runs out. We'll keep this. And we'll put it on a... Our mannequin when we put the, the the outfit when we get the outfit and we can sell that for sure at right, least these that works all right excellent remember your mind is the best weapon you have Actually, that's that's most of them right there. Some good trade. <laughs> Probably less traffic this way. All right, let's get to Riften. I can report in. <clears throat> well, 
All right, so these last couple of rings right here real quick. Oh, I should... Derp. I should totally put on the black arts hood for this. Well, take a look. Let's see if he has anything super interesting. Yeah, not really. May your road lead you to one side. Can take you to where do you want to go? All right, climb and back, and we'll be off. You'll want to watch yourself in Rifton. A lot of ways to get yourself in trouble in that town. Meh. Rar. Rar. Let's go. What? A spring end, huh? Well. Yoink. Well, not yoink, but... Rar. But there's another werewolf for a second. Don't normally see trolls along in here. Very interesting. Oh, are you guys big tough, tough bad guys up there? Whatever. If I wanted their little pile of crap, I could take their little pile of crap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Alright, let's do switch back to our running hood. And then, long stride. No fast travel. Oh, no. oh. Ow, ow. Ow. Oh, shite. Oh, and I've used all my magicka. Um, let's uh, very quickly. Go invisible and try to get up around a corner so we can heal. And then, and then I think, screw it, you know what? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Well, Dawn Guard are mad at me now. Let's get some distance. Oh, there she is. Ow. 
Oh, okay, well. Becoming a, becoming a werewolf uh, was, was not the proper strategy. Not that far away. If I'm going to do that, you do that right by her. Okay, well. I mean, so I want a long stride, but... Running out of Magicka... Right by the time you run into a, a vampire. A little rough. But I also have shouts. Which I could have used. And, and so there we saw that, yes, the Dawn Guard is not super pleased with the idea of werewolf. Which I think is a little unfair. No, you don't. Hey! So we'll just do that. We haven't used that in a while. And uh, we can't do that. Um... We can do that. Oh, shit. Okay. Do I have enough? I didn't realize there was two. Nope. Okay. Yeah, not a, not a chance. Okay. Okay. All right, let's take this a little bit slower. Okay, you. Actually. Enjoy enjoy a nice big bear. Quickly loot the body. You look like you're actually some kind of animal. Sound like it too. go. That went way better. Alright, now we can probably long stride our way back up. And let that be a lesson to us. Vampires usually aren't traveling by themselves. Come on, Jazargo. There you go. Good job. Pretty good fortifications. Gang's all here. What can I do for you? I'm impressed you could find a moth priest so quickly. Ah, you know, I mean, I know when you know where to look. For the reading, 
Yeah. Just let the old man know when you're ready. You ready? My trip to Skyrim has become quite the adventure. Yeah, glad you made it. Ah, my rescuer. It's good yeah. to see you again. How would you, how could you forget? It's not exactly the hospitality I'm used to, but your man Isran has seen to my needs well enough. Cool. And might I add, this is a remarkable fortress. Yes, pretty good. I have good. colleagues back home that would love to study this place in detail. All right. Are, are your colleagues human? Not vampire? Okay. Oh, most certainly. No. Let's find out what secrets the scroll can tell. Now, if everyone will please be quiet, I must concentrate. I see a vision before me. An image of a great bow. I know this weapon. It is Oriel's bow. Now a voice whispers, saying, Among the night's children, a dread lord will rise. In an age of strife, when dragons return to the realm of men, darkness will mingle with light, and the night and the day will be as one. The voice fades and the words begin to shimmer and distort. But wait. There is more here. The secret of the bow's power is written elsewhere. I think there is more to the prophecy, recorded in other scrolls. Yes, I see them now. One contains the ancient secrets of the dragons, and the other speaks of the potency of ancient blood. My vision darkens, and I see no more. To know the complete prophecy, we must have the other two scrolls. All right. I must rest now. The reading has made me weary. Come on, old man. You should get some rest. And that is that. And then chasing echoes will be the next phase. Uh, we can go ahead and speak with Serana. So this opened up three ones, um, all right together. Um, so yeah, let's do go ahead and speak. Go ahead and speak to Serana. Yeah, there's the other two. Do you have a moment to talk? Yeah, well, you weren't gonna let me pass, so absolutely. That moth priest Dexian. <laughs> he said we needed two other Elder Scrolls. Uh huh. I think I know where we can start looking. Excellent. Half the people in your little crew would just as soon kill me as talk to me. That doesn't exactly make me want to open up. Aww. I got a warmer welcome from my father. Now that's saying something. Yeah. Uh, cool. Ever since he decided to make that prophecy his calling, we kind of drifted apart. I don't mm. even think he sees me as his daughter anymore. I'm just... a means to an end. Okay. Uh, so where are you think? We need to find my mother, Valerica. She'll definitely know where it is. And if we're lucky, she actually has it herself. Cool. The last time I saw her, she said that she'd go somewhere safe. Somewhere that my father would never search. Other than that, she wouldn't tell me anything. But the way she said it, someplace he would never search. It was cryptic, yet she called attention to it. All right. Maybe. What I can't figure out is why she said it that way. Besides, I can't imagine a single place my father would avoid looking. And he's had all this time, too. Any ideas? Um, I'm not going to give the actual proper answer here. We'll let that sit. They'd be even less welcoming to her than they've been to me. It would have been a bloodbath. And since the Dawn Guard are still around, that must not have happened. Any other ideas? I'm gonna do this one? I don't think so. She said she wanted to stay awake in case the situation was resolved. Mm. It had to be one of us, and, well, she's so much more powerful than I am. It just made sense for her to be out here. Anything else? That's where we're gonna stop that. Okay, let's take a look. So, <laughs> that will hit right off the bat. This one we could just leave marked because that doesn't actually show anywhere. 
that's just very similar to the liberation of Skyrim where it's just connected to the other two <clears throat> and then this one does have us wanting to go to the College of Winterhold um, but we're not doing that right now no So we have a whole lot of just regular old miscellaneous stuff that uh, I've been kind of putting off. <clears throat> all over the map. So we're over here. There's really nothing over here by us per se, but if we went to Riften, we could definitely make our way to any of the the main areas. We do have a book re to return. We do have a bounty there to collect. We've got a thieves job there. We've got a shrine right there. There's another shrine somewhere. We've got a bounty up there. We've got Thieves Guild thing there. Where's the other shrine? <clears throat> yeah, not sure offhand. Not that not that important. So yeah. I feel like we could uh, travel to Solitude. We could travel up and uh, take out this bandit leader. Let's do that. What time is it? 4:34. All right, let's uh, let's get out of here. We need to find my mother, Valerica. She'll definitely know where it is, and if we're lucky, she actually has it herself. <laughs> yeah, but we're not doing that right now. We're doing quests in order. That we, in the order that we receive them. And there's other quests to do way before we worry about that. We're going to think on it. Where would that, where would her mother be? And then in a few weeks, we'll be like, Eureka, what about at the castle? And she'll be like, oh my God, why didn't I think of that? And then we'll, we'll be like, yeah, why didn't you think of that? And then we'll have a big chuckle, all of us together. And then we'll go to the castle. And we'll do that whole thing. And that'll, that'll be a whole episode to itself, for sure. All right. What are the odds there's more vampires if we took those two out? I'm going to say slim to none. I'm still going to quick save, though. Or... Or, instead of going up there, we could check out some, sh some fishing spots while we're in the Riften area. Let's do that. We have a cart back home. A few other things we need to catch. Oh, it's a sword that makes that noise when you pull it out, huh? It kind of has the same kind of effect that my armor does. It looks like. Alright, let's get back to Riften. First and foremost. Before it becomes nighttime. And we're stuck out here with zombies and vampires. Especially with it getting so foggy all of a sudden.
You can catch some sleep and then go out nice and early for fishing. And then where do we want to end up? If next time we're doing this, that is over near Markarth, near the river. Fair enough. All right, do you want to sleep in the Ragged Flagon or do you want to, or do you want to crash it at Aaron's place again? We have the key. He locks the door because he doesn't want us to stay there. But then he is too afraid to say anything when we do stay there. Need a drink? You go to the BM bar. Stay out of the ragged flagon. I steal his crush and then I steal his hospitality. But I'm a terrible Nord, aren't I? Right. You wanna talk to me? No, we're just here, I'm just here to sleep. It's it's early. But uh yeah. You like 11 hours? Get up, eat some food. Best time to fish is like right at sunrise. So. Let's see. Leg of goat roast. Sounds good. The ending of my pain, I began early. Miss your tale of single hand. All right, let's take a look at our books. So, we have list of fair weather fish. Carp, glassfish, goldfish, pogfish. We already read the first volume of Fishing Mastery. That's all well and good. We have it right here. Right off the docks, the Riften Fishery into Lake Honrich. Honrich. And then head west, try your hand at fishing from the river that runs alongside Iverstead. So yeah, we can just do that. And then we have, um, wait, which one is? East March is north of here. Uh-oh. what it says on the map, does it? No. Okay, hold on. I need to look at the actual real map. Right, the rift. I think I'm missing uh, that particular book, that particular map. Yes, I do not have that one. Okay, well. We should find it. We don't need that to fish off the dock. So let's go fish off the dock first. Really neat. Yeah. Well, I'm not messing around. Jazargo's got my fishing rod. I would agree, brother. Oh, there's another fishing rod right there, but hey, give me my fishing rod. You are taking us somewhere warm. No, I'm heading right here, actually. Thank you. We follow that. And then we do that. All right. And it's not like, it's not like Fable. We pretty much just wait until it like does that. And we catch a silver side perch. And then we do it again as we watch the sunrise. Although we're looking west, so the sun's gonna come behind us. And we 
we get Brook Bass. Okay. Yeah, another carp. Okay. Four different kinds of fish we need. There's a lot of bugs. Glass fish. All right. Still stuff to catch, though. All right, Abyssin long fin. Yeah, it's getting brighter. Still see stars, though. A lantern. Oh, well, that's less exciting. All right, we're not seeing any jumping in the water anymore, so I think we're good. All right. Well, we're going to drop the lantern. Oops. I, that was kind of littering, but... Okay, I feel like what we do then is we just uh, we just head over to the shore and then we uh, look for fishing spots. That seems like a reasonable thing to do. I don't know if picking the south picking the south side of the lake is the right choice there, but uh, it's what we're going to do, and we'll just follow the shoreline. Right. Since we're having a map would be useful, but screw it. Where's the sense of adventure with that? Plus, we can always call our horse to us if we really need to. We've also got long stride, and we've got our summon our summon the giant angry bear who really just likes to have cuddles. And we've got all of our shouts. when we find him. Eventually this will take us close to Iverstead, which is where the book said to go anyway. Iron ore? I don't think we can ignore. Oh, we got some Nern root. Or by that mill? Might be somewhere by that mill. All right, we got a wolf.
There we go. This is what we're looking for. All right. Oh, I have to equip the fishing rod. Right. I knew that. Yeah, this is pretty. Uh, Jazargo, you're you're right where I'm passing casting the line though. Silverside perch. All right. So we've got, we've got two of the four. And there's something attacks us, Jazargo. It's your your job to watch my back. Yep. 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 Salmon. That's less exciting. All right, still stuff to catch. That's good. <clears throat> and a bucket. That's less exciting. No, nope, still more to catch, though. We want to get rid of that bucket. Before we leave. Even though the bucket is the ultimate stealing thing. There's another glass fish. The bucket is the ultimate thieving device. Oh, there's not anything I've ever done in my games, nor is it something I really want to do. There's certain exploits that... I mean, I'm not going to blame anybody else for using them, but... I don't feel right using them. Now, that said, I have used the fast travel across the board, you know, get alteration to zero cost, and then fast travel to level it all the way up using uh, telekinesis. I've used that on a couple of occasions. Can't do that on this game, though, because we're playing survival and there's no fast travel. Another carp? Okay. Nope, still splashes, so still stuff to catch. Hi, buddy. Another bucket. Okay, well. Yeah, oh, still splashes. All right. As long as we're seeing the splashes, we know there's more. Salmon. I didn't know if there was, was there splashes. Okay, there's it's getting it's getting tugged. So carp, we gotta be getting close, right? Yeah, all right. Ancient Nord Warhammer. That seems very heavy. Oh. Oh. Alright, spade tail. We gotta be getting close in this spot, right? Yeah, I'm... A little bit distracted, but I think I didn't see anything there. So yeah, let's uh, let's get rid of the buckets. And uh, what's the deal with this warhammer? Not worth much. Leave it right there. Someone else can have it. Enjoy. Right. 
Alright, moving on. I figure we'll walk to Iverstead and then we'll uh and then we'll ride with Thunder Hooves to uh home. Crazy deer. Is that a troll up there? It looks like a troll. Couple trolls. Well, you guys are on that side, and I'm over on this side, so I know what you go getting all hostile about. Unless you want to come over here and use this bridge. And then we'll see what's what. Oh, bear. Yeah, we're there. This will look right. Yeah, this looks right. This looks like the river they were talking about. Grounds get a little less even. But you know, this is how you discover stuff you've never seen before, is by walking where you wouldn't normally ever walk. For example, log crossing the river. Almost like a little dam. You know, are you guys all mad over there? Well, I suppose you're allowed, so whatever. Hey! Hey! Don't maybe come over there. Are you gonna come over here? What are you gonna do about it? Oh yeah, you are thinking about coming over here, huh? You son of a bitch. Ow! All right, look here. Enjoy, bitches. I mean, all I got. I mean, all right, whatever, guy. All right, that everybody. Where's Shazar going? All this? Oh, that body's floating away. You can tell where she's most buoyant. <laughs> all right, where'd that orc? Body go. I got iron ore right there. Okay, there's you. I'll take your lockpick. Your buddy was up around here somewhere, wasn't he? Ah, a dead rabbit. All right, whatever. They didn't have to attack me. Just minding my own business, looking for good fishing spots. Then they start shooting arrows at me? Well. Shooting a, shoot a couple arrows at me? Whatever. Actually hit me with an arrow, though? Screw you. Yeah, I've never walked along here before. 
Ooh, all right. We'll mine some gold ore. Tucked away next to the river, just randomly. Oh, I probably should change my hood. I'm wearing my sailing hood. Put on my magical hood, my traveling hood. That Iverstead up there, that looks like Iverstead right up there. You know, it's been a hot minute since I've gone up to uh, see the Greybeards. I could take this as an opportunity to go up and find, have them tell them about another word of power. Nothing wrong with that. Plus, I can make it so the animals don't attack me, attack me for a period of time. <clears throat> Which is very handy. Keeping an eye out for fishing spots on the other side of the river. It's kind of a small little river. If little fox don't go out there, there's, there's slaughterfish. Don't you see the eggs? I want to keep following the river over here, but from this side. Yeah, someone's drinking down here. Oops. No, ah, wait, wait, wait. Oh, litter. Oh yeah, this fishing slide right here. Okay, yeah, let's uh, let's do it. Since we're here. This was the plan. All right, let's see what we can catch right here. This is a, uh, ooh, lots of jumping. Again, Jazargo is, uh, he's, he's standing there for scale. Well, you can see the fish in the water too. River Betty. Figure if we climb, go up to the mountain and talk to the Greybeards, then we can uh, use, use our shouts to get back down the other side and skip the whole riding around the mountain thing. Hissed carp. And I'm always down to learn some new words. Carp. I forget the other two we're supposed to catch. Although it'll tell us when we catch one. Okay. Just mirrors it look like the water's flowing multiple different directions here. Seems weird. Ah, there's one. Pogfish. That's an ugly fish. That is one ugly fish. We have to look at the look at the note again to see what the fourth one was. Oh, another pogfish. All right. Should bring us some honey brew mead. That'd make this more entertaining. Empty wine bottle. All right, we might be getting close here. Uh, no ripples, okay. So we are done. Empty wine bottle, huh?
Brick. Alright. Yeah, it's flowing that way there. And it's flowing that way there. Almost as if the water's coming from an underground source or something. That is odd. Well, we're going to need to get a lot of salt if we're going to cook up all this fish. All right, let's look at the note. Nope, books. Goldfish. Of course. That's what we're missing. I could go up to the, the uh, tavern and buy some salt, I'm sure. But... Yeah, no fishing spots there. I don't see any fishing spots down that way. Alright, well... Such a good horse. I'm almost gonna feel a little bad when we uh when we get Shadow Mare. Ross has been such a loyal horse. Ross will go out to for us will go out to the the pasture for for will uh, go out to stud. He won't be he won't be complaining. No no Mr. Bear. No Mr. Bear. I don't want to poison you. Cease and desist, Mr. Bear. Okay, one. Two. See if I can get him without having to backtrack this time. Three. Ooh, that's some cold air coming in. I got all those soul gems. Okay, where'd Frost go? Okay. 
We can travel for a minute without him. Six. Seven. He's not mad about the paralysis rune. Eight. There he is. That was when I had to backtrack for last time. Nine. And ten. Alright, voice of the sky added. Excellent. Now let's get inside. Out of the cold. Nope. Yeah, you are. Sky above, voice within. Words power? We have felt the Yeah, you have. Ragnavald. Give me your map and I will show you where its echo can be found. Thank you. Wind. Alright, it's only 146. We can definitely go right now. Uh, let's take a look, though, where that is. Okay. I'm familiar with that place. Cool. We've got a shrine over there as well. Yeah, so we've got reason to head over that way. At some point. Probably best to go to Karthwaston and then travel up from there. Sounds good to me. Not this time, of course, but all right. Well, let's uh, let's get let's get home, and we'll call it. All right, let's take a look at the map. We want to come down really right about here. So that gives us a heading. We're going to quick save. And then we're going to hop down. About here. Get our shot ready. Fire! And then, um... Long stride. Oh, oh shit. Oh shit. Okay, maybe not long stride. If I aim really straight down, will it still do that? Oh god, yep. Okay. So don't long stride off the mountain. Got it. One hand? That's a little better. Should be ready to pull back if I leave the ground. I'm pretty sure we're not meant to do this. Uh, but it's fast, damn it. And in a world without fast travel, it's clearly superior. Ooh, what's that? There's a cave down here I'm not familiar with, too. Ooh, some blood. You guys cool? A lot of blood on the ground. You hunters? I've been hunting and fishing in these parts for years. All right. 
Oh, cave bear pelt. Good job, guys. All right, well, carry on. You all do you. Ah, oh, yeah, that's Chizargo. There is my home. Fire! Can't cast a spell in the water. But we are home. Hi. Yeah. What what are you doing? Okay. They are some weird weird little girls. No one's taking care of uh Foxy. Are you surprised there? Where's Mule? Is she downstairs? Yep, she's downstairs. Alright, well, not much for us to do down here. It's good to see you. It's always good to see you. Is there something you need? No, there? no, we're good. Alright, well we're gonna call it right here. Um on that note, next time. Mightier than the sword. Uh that might be a short one. Uh if it is, we may go ahead and take a couple of assassinations too. Um, we can roll those into Mightier Than the Sword, uh, or not, or they'll be their own thing. After that, we've got, um, one I'm not familiar with, and then we've got Civil War stuff. Followed by something I'm not really familiar with, so it must be new. Followed by Thieves Guild. And then more Thieves Guild. And that's main storyline there. Then back to uh, Soul's time. So yeah, we're gonna be bouncing all over the place. Uh, I feel like we're getting uh, fewer. This list seems to be getting a little bit smaller. We'll we'll need to find some of the extra little things as we we're running around. We have not a huge amount of miscellaneous, um, but enough. And then uh, I should put away some of those fish. Uh, before I accidentally use them, we got it. We got a. We got three of the four, so that's that's cool. Um, so yeah, you have a great rest of your whatever, and I will see you next time. Ta ta. We drink to our youth, to the days come and gone, for the age of oppression is now nearly done. We'll drive out the empire from this land that we own. With our blood and our steel, we will take back our home. All hail.